Hello everybody, we're back with Vampire the Masquerade, and we talked to Jack here, and um, we talked to him. Where are we supposed to talk to Nines here? Yeah, we were. So that's... Oh, she's... Oh, whatever, chick. Let's talk to her, why not? Uh, what are you talking about? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think the poor would stop counting as many long enough to be your back, Jack? Uh, what are you talking about? What do you mean again? How do you know? What the fuck is your problem? Oh, oh, oh. You wanna know what my problem is? Alright, I'll tell you what my problem is. You ready? You are my goddamn problem. Anyone who lay down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves what they get. Look at her face, man. Her lipstick is really scary. Cape? Uh, what are you talking about? Cape, Kimmy. Camarilla elders? The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight has seen invention? You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Oh, she's one of the anarchist uh, girls, I guess. People. Uh, I like to play for the winning team. I make my own fate. Uh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. Uh, enlightening. I'm Damsel, grandmother of these nerds, and one piss bitch since the floor was Yeah, I can tell. Piss? You don't say. Drink some bad blood or something? Mm. Uh, don't even joke about bad blood at a time like this. Don't you know we've got a plague bearer around here? Oh, what's a plague bearer? It's probably somebody with infected blood or something. A plague bearer is a thing that doesn't care who they eat them. They only know what you're thinking. You can't get sick, but the kind can. And kidney that feed on them start spreading disease. You might get sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Okay. Uh, sounds like an anarch problem. Yeah, let's be provocative. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearers gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Okay, so you hate the Camarilla, but you want them to help out? Okay. Uh... I'll think about doing it. The Anarchs helped me up before. Where do I start? Yeah, they helped me up before. Nines did. So, that's One helpful. of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. We were in the Skyline Apartments, right? I'll go check it out. Ghouls? Why is it always ghouls? Fine, I'll check it out when I can. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes a city a few days to keep the bodies. Alright. I'll ask around now. Bye, Demsel. Shut up. That sucked to nines. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Okay. Go on. You got a right to know the score. In Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plan. I'm looking for a little power than those can have sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to exist. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Okay. Aren't you part of the Camarilla? Them fighting words, maybe. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest sort of horseshit man I've ever heard. Hmm, so what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. 
the same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. Anarch free state? Uh, yeah. So the Camarilla is new to uh, LA? The huh? Camarilla was kicked out on that a long time ago. We and the anarchs didn't want to play the law. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Okay, that's interesting. Mm, sounds like you're the prince of anarchs. Yeah, it does. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those <laughs> kind of words around like me. You're risking a beat down. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that has a bit of your sweet size. Most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Okay. Yeah, so have you tried meeting with them? I got their meeting right here. Okay, not a fan of the prince, of the prince. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in America. Okay, any advice you can give me? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. If you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill any feet, no reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to select the beast without leaving a trail of death. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Cause a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Uh, can you teach me how to fight, master? After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was like a... Okay, thanks for all your help, Nines. LA is the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Okay. All these... Weird, weird people. <sighs> Oh, okay, secure area. It's the bathroom, and there is no place to take a dump. Oh yeah, there is. And somebody already did. That's that's a flat toilet bowl right there. Just sit in your own crap. Dirty condoms. Sounds good. And that towel needs a changing. All right, Demzel. See you later. Not a lot to go in there. Oh, well, she looks stoned. Let's get out of here. Let's see what we can do next. Primogen. I've assembled eight elders of each clan in the city. Okay. All right. Uh, fun with pestilence. Damsel has to set on the trail to the plague plague bearer and the Skyland apartments. Yes. <clears throat> the prince wants you to investigate the Elizabeth Dane, but we still had that one quest. Went to the Skyland's apartment to look for Muddy across the street from a bar. Okay, this is a bar. So it could be across the street. It could be here. Should we check this place out? Why not? Hello. Thank you. Okay. Oh shit, who's shooting again? What is happening on the street here? This is how, how LA really is? Okay, there's a sewers here. And there's another one, hey. Oh, it's Mr. Crab Nipple. Thank you. Is going on on these streets? People shooting each other. Okay, let's go inside here. Let's see if that's where Muddy, M Mudden, whatever his name was. Muddy. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Let's get our new sword out. Let's see. What's oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? So we have another gruesome murder. 
Did you see it? Mm, uh, bloody mess. It's kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up. Right in two. Ripped him apart like a rag doll. Tell me what you saw. These two guys, the dead guy and the other, and the, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was uh, the other guy? The dead fella called him Muddy. Uh, uh, so this dead guy and Muddy, what were they doing here? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves, you find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Showed up? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Okay, and then what happened? The killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The, the dead guy went white like he seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. Okay, what did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The, the killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. And just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. Okay, and what about the other guy? No, he never come back. Okay, and I'll be a good boy and forget everything you saw here. Oh, should I do that? No. Okay, he's dragging me along. Can't move. No, I can. So, let's investigate the murder scene. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Oh, shit. Why am I using blood buff every time I want to use the blood heal? God pissing myself off. I gotta go drink. Okay, there was a key card here, wasn't there? Where's the the body? Oh, there it is. Uh, uh lucky star room key. All right. The crest lock update. Oh, he got he got messed up. Oh, there's his head. Let's look at it. Okay, never saw him before. Should we take the head? Okay, let's drop it. Let's get out of here before the police arrives. Because our bum friend probably called him. Alright. So maybe the guys with uh, the claw is actually the murder uh, from Santa Monica. And maybe. Lucky Star Motel. Yeah, Carnival of Death. Um, should we go to the Lucky Star Hotel now, or should we just go where uh, whatever comes next here on my way? What the hell? Why are these people walking around like in hazmat suits? Uh, that is weird. Can we actually talk to them? Okay, Lucky Star Hotel. Where is that? Oh, there's a hotel right here. Is that the Lucky Star Hotel? No. No. That's the Hollowbrook Hotel. We don't want to go in there. We want to go to... The Lucky Star. What the hell is this? It looks like a church or something. Looks like an evil tower of, of doom, if you ask me. That does too. LA is a scary place. <coughs> I've never been to LA, actually. Only places I've been to, I think, is Montgomery, Alabama, <laughs> and Portland, Oregon. Florida Empire Hotel. No, there's so many hotels here, but no Lucky Star Hotel. Oh, what are you doing here? I've seen you before. Okay, no Lucky Star Hotel here. So let's look at the bus stop for some further directions. Okay, there is no Lucky Star Hotel here. Yeah, boss. Huh. 
Nocturne Theater, Parking Entrance, Confession, Adventure Tower. Okay, I guess I'll go to the Skyline Afts again. They're right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And let's see if you can find Paul. Paul's apartment. I just saw you. You're like the weird guy spying on the people, right? Paul Anderson, fifth, fifth floor. Hmm. He's probably not here. I would guess. Maybe that is actually um apartment we've been to before where we got that vampire photo hello Paul are you home no but there's oh Paul Paul's dead he died shit Hi. Alright, what was the code? Well, um, 1203. Uh, okay, so she also lives. Oh, that was Hannah, maybe the, the good looking chick. Okay. Well, let's check out where she lives because I already forgot. So maybe uh, that was like that vampire STD. So let's go down and look at the. Um, and post the mailbox again. See what floor Hannah lives in. And actually, you know, if these people are dying and stuff like that, that guy uh, spying on them should probably know what the hell is going on. Okay. Uh, I want to go to first person. <coughs> So I can't see. Okay, she was in the sixth floor. Saw an H there. Let's check it out. Get my sword out again. In case something happens. Maybe she's dead. She's probably dead. Bam. Get myself a katana. Katana or something. Whatever you call these. Swords. Okay, we have one, two, oh, three. Was it? No. One, two, oh, no. One, two, oh, three. I'm a friend of Paul's. He just wanted me to come and check up on you. Paul sent me over. I'm a doctor. You sound pretty sick, Hannah. What's wrong? I'm from the CDC. Your friend's Paul not doing so hot, and I'm looking into it. Okay. He did? Uh, that's so sweet. <coughs> He's such a nice guy. Is everything okay with him? Mm, yeah. <coughs> I don't really know. I. I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. Can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I can't remember. Sounds pretty bad. Uh, yeah, where did you get it? Well, I think I got sick from one of my <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. Okay, who was uh, this client? Oh, let's ask what business uh, she's in. Um, uh, I 
I'm in uh, sales. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> you know, door to door stuff. Nothing very interesting. You sound like a whore. Okay, are you sure? You sound like you're hiding something. I, do? I, I mean, n no, I, I'm not hiding nothing. <coughs> I just, I don't like uh, talking about my personal business with strangers. Hey, look, you can trust me. Okay, okay. I knew it, whore. I'm a professional escort. You mean a call girl? That's cool. Hey, everybody's got to make a living. You're a prostitute. Interesting choice of profession. I don't want to be uh, judgmental. <coughs> whore. Yeah, well, it's not exactly what I was hoping for when I moved to L.A. But it pays the bills, I guess. So, it was uh, Paul one of your regulars? No, not Paul. <coughs> he asked me out a couple of weeks ago, and we had a really good time, you know? He was the first guy in a long time who treated me decently. Yeah, well, Paul's dead. Too bad. All right, tell me about this other client of yours. She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. Or What can you tell me about this woman? <coughs> Her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. What happened? Uh, did she enjoy your services? Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women. But I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Sounds like a... Uh, yeah, whatever. Well, the next thing that's clear <laughs> is when I woke up the next morning. <coughs> I haven't been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <coughs> well, it sounds like she's uh, the cause of that uh, problem. Uh, sickness. Maybe those guys in the hazmat suits are there because of this. Okay. Mm, where did you meet her, Hannah? Where's Jezebel? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? No, no. Paul's just fine. Don't worry about him because you're probably gonna die before you find out that he's dead. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you will, Hannah. I hope so. I really do. Oh, sleep, Hannah. <coughs> sleep. <coughs> Everything will be okay. <laughs> oh, she died. She died with um the thought of having met a wonderful man. That is so sad. And I gave her peace for the last moments of her life. So, uh, Jezebel, you are responsible for all of this. I have to find you. Right? Hannah has pointed you in the direction of Jezebel Locke, as possible link to the Plague Bearer chain. She makes her residence at the Empire Arms Hotel. Alright, let's check out the Empire Arms Hotel. Empire Arms sounds like a weapon store to me, but I guess it's a hotel. Jezebel, you filthy bitch. Filthy, filthy. You creep. Alright. Okay, and the sheriff is the prince's enforcer. The vampire who hauls offenders off to court, keeps order in the streets. Oh, she lives right next door, how convenient. While in melee combat, you can block. Oh, you can block? <laughs> Falky tap. Oh, yeah, that is uh, very convenient. Hello, sir. Yes? May I help you? I would like to ask you something. Yes. Miss Locke is one of our more, um, popular guests. Why do you ask? I want to... I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. Oh, come on. I'm an old friend of hers. 
on a surprise visit. I see. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make an exception. Here's the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. Hmm. Well, you're such a good guy. Such a... What the hell is wrong with you? You can't smoke in here. It's not the 70s anymore. Okay. Uh, what floor is she in? Does it say on the key card? Oh, I can sell all this crap I haven't done yet. Uh, it's a key card. Where is it? Key ring? Oh. Jezebel locks key. Yeah, I want to know what the fuck, what floor she lives in. Hello. Was there something else? No, see, okay. I don't know what floor she lives in. Just I have to guess. What the hell is going on in here? Let's dance. Yeah, baby. Show me those moves. Yeah. Okay, now you're looking awkward at me. Okay, let's get away from here. That looks weird. But I actually like how they have like real uh, music playing. I wonder if these are like um, bought music licenses or if they were like uh, produced for this game. Okay, how the hell would I know where the lock woman lives? Maybe I can check your computer. Uh, right. No, I can't. <laughs> Let's take the elevator. Maybe Hannah said something about what floor she lives in, but I really don't know. What the hell? Oh, it should say on her key what the fuck, what room she lives in. Maybe I can. It should say, but it just says just a little locks key. Lucky star room. <sighs> yeah, this this is not gonna work. I can't just what the fuck do I open the door. I can't just search like every fucking room for her. That'd be ridiculous. There should be like a computer here somewhere that I could check. Hi Tom, if someone needs a spare key card, check the computer for the uh, name of the suit first. The password is wealth. Have a good night shift. All right. Yeah, where is the computer? That's a microwave. There is the computer. Maybe you can check out here. Guests, logs, suits. Wealth. Uh, she probably lives in the Queen's. <laughs> Queen's suit. No, it's Ingvar Johansson, that little queen. Let's uh, check for guest logs. I think that would be easier. Wealth. Okay, is it different? Let's hack it. Po power. Wow. Lock. Uh. None. Current transaction history. Okay, we're not gonna check the rest. I guess we have to check every single suit. Albany suit. It's available. We can take it. Buffalo suit. Is it suite or suit? Don't know. Occupied guest. Boris Chekhov. Mm -hmm. Ithaca suit. Ashley Jones, Manhattan. It's empty. Okay, I guess it's Brooklyn. Yeah, it is. Fifth floor. Awesome. Oh, hey, 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 dude. I don't know how I, how I went, came from there. Yes, fifth floor. Oh, I should save. Better safe than sorry. Right. Fifth floor. Vampires are extraordinarily resilient to gunfire. Gunfire. 
to gun flyers. Uh, the gun flyers. Oh, the ballroom. Look at that. I thought we just went to the ballroom. Ms. Locke, I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah. Who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? Uh, I take it you're Jezebel Locke? Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? Yeah, you should put your Oz pecs on, because I'm a vampire. You are strangely attractive. Yeah, I'm coming in and death coming with me. Okay, what the hell is going on around here? Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. Alright, great. Another cult. Cook. Cook. With an attitude problem. So I can end up dead like Hannah and her friends? Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark gift I bring? Oh, will they not share it with the rest of those who revel in the pleasures of the flesh? Okay, you're sick. Pure and simple. Time to put you out of your misery. Okay, okay, okay I guess I have to fight. Oh, what the hell? She's shiny. Should have. Okay, that's. Oh, fuck you. Let's put on that celerity. Okay, sucks ass. Oh, okay, I'm probably not gonna win this boss fight. Bam! Ah. Okay. okay. I'm probably gonna use all, um, use all my blood. I wonder if I can actually... Did you just heal? Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was a nice triple hit. Okay, I gotta get away from here. Can I drink blood? I thought I had one blood packet left. I don't? I do. Okay, I used it. I gotta get out of this corner. Maybe I can beat her in the first try? Shit. Get the fuck away from me. Ah, oh, close quarter combat. Nice! Now finish her! No, don't die. Don't die. Finish her. Yes! First try! Boss kill! Or whatever she was. Ooh, awesome. Search your room. So, I... Is that a book we can pick up? Uh, I wish there was a little backstory to this, maybe? Like, how she became crazy, or maybe she... Oh, there's a journal. No means. And no means, and no... Why don't they remove the chip that makes me feel pain? <laughs> I love that. I love Drawn Together. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. Okay. Finish that quest. You have killed Jezebel Locke. Report back to Damsel. You know, five experience points, that's not very much. It should be read the journal entry and then call it a day. Did I actually get a book? I mean, that's the Rolf thing. No, an O means, an O, I mean, no means no is probably. Uh, it's probably a skill book I can't use. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So I guess you just finish the quest and I can get out of here. You've killed Jezebel Locke. Report back to Dam. So let's do that and then let's call it a day. Sorry, I made a bloody mess in one of your hotel suites.
Should have blocked some attacks. Please let me out. Have a nice day, sir. Plural childer. Children. Okay, now we have to find that bar again. Nocturne Theater Confession. Is that that's probably like a club or something? Okay, I definitely need some blood actually. Okay, those are the gangers. Don't want to mess with them. Okay, there's nobody watching. I should actually get this guy. I can. Great. Should be enough for now, I guess. Or is there somebody in here? There's a bum there. Guess you could take a bite out of him. Hello. He runs dry really fast. Oh, I got sick. Diseased blood. Oh, come on, you stupid bum. another one. <laughs> He's probably sick. I wonder if the coughing actually... Oh, hello! Oh, he has good blood. He has very good blood. Thank you. Okay, we're loaded, almost. Coming from the same direction. You don't have any stuff. Just your red scarf and your filthy beanie. Man, they should really clean up this place. It looks horrible. So I get, uh, I guess that one key card I got from the murder place, it's called uh, a key to the lucky r uh, star room. So I guess um, there's no hotel called the Lucky Star. Am I going the right direction? I guess. There's actually no other place I can actually go, I think. It should be like somewhere here. Because I remember walking past the Hollowbrook Hotel. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's talk to Damsel and then end the part. The last round. That's actually a pretty depressing name for a bar. Damsel, finished your quest. Okay. About Paul, he's dead for a few days. It wasn't pretty. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Then he got get over. I'm stubborn that way. I did. He's dead. She's dead. All right. I'll start looking for the rest. All right. You finished that quest. Let's go into the woman's bathroom. Of course, the toilet is. Cleaner. Okay, see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.